Okay. Hi, everyone. So, as I mentioned in an earlier post, um, I'm learning to play the didgeridoo. <laughs> I am really bad right now. Here. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> me and my didgeridoo, um, I'm taking an online course, and um, I may not be very good right now, but I have three friends who play didgeridoo, and actually four now, because um, I met a few didgeridoo players in, in Mexico, and... <laughs> Um, and one of them is actually going to make me a custom crafted didgeridoo next year when I go back. So, uh, so he told me to practice this year. That way, when I go back next year, you know, we can make something. Yeah. Okay. I'm putting the dig away. <laughs> Uh, I promise no more torture <laughs> for anyone except, you know, my family over the coming weeks. Um, so, um, I'm, I'm here in the front of my house now in case uh, we got tired of the view from the side of my house after the last few uh, live streams. Earlier today, um, I shared some of the precautions that we're taking in my family for keeping everyone safe and virus free, hopefully, hopefully all of us. So feel welcome to uh, jump on my Facebook page if you want to see. It's like an 18 minute long video. Sorry, I was aiming for 10 minutes, but I ramble. And the cat was like too cute and had to be acknowledged. Um, I'm not saying you need to do what I do. I'm just saying this is the, are the precautions that my research brought me to. Uh, do your own research, do your own fact checking. This is your life you're talking about. Don't accept anything without fact checking it. Um, so then, what was it? Yesterday, some of us, I showed a technique on how to open up and connect with all dimensions and or specific dimensions or guides and let their love and healing energy flow into you and out um, and a few of you responded that's really great but when I'm done I don't want to be like Woo! I want to like reconnect so right now I want to share with you Wait, I'm sorry I got to move my dig it's look at it it's so long <laughs> um, when I get good I'll play it for you again so anyway, I want to share with you um, a quick grounding meditation and also talk a little bit about what is grounding? Why do we ground? Now, keep in mind, you know, every single chakra, every connection has a purpose. Um, it's fine to leave your body behind and go zip up into other dimensions, other frequencies, other cosmoses, and connect with divine beings, collectives, alien races, whatever, and go there and learn from them. When you're doing that, you don't really need to ground because you're going to where they are. You actually want to kind of, as your, it could be your soul, you could be astral projecting, it could be consciousness projecting, which means your soul stays in your body but your awareness leaves your body. Um, it could be you're just connecting digitally. There's so many ways to do this. But what you want to do is kind of imprint and ground with where you are, connect with where you are. So then you're not grounding so much as, I don't know, cosmic, multidimensional, collective oneness grounding. I don't, you want to, wherever you go, that's where you want to connect with. But if you want to bring any of that goodness back to earth, 
say uh, when I go to the etheric surgery realm, which I'm glad to see some of you all are doing it now too. Thank you. When I go there, I'm not at all connected with my body here. I am like all there, but I like absorb it into me and I connect with the terrain and the environment so that then when I come back here, I have a frequency to bring back. And when I ground, I bring it through and I'm able to become a conduit or create portals. Oh, one moment. I have a cat who needs to come outside. <laughs> Twinkle. Nope. Apparently he just needed to stare at me and then run away. So that's a cat. Um, so when I come back to earth, if I ground into earth, then all of that good stuff is not just for me. I'm able to bring that good stuff through me into earth or send it out to others or create portals because now I'm imprinting on both locations. And then sometimes I'm really spacey and I need to like ground. So there's, you know, earthing where you just go and you lie on the ground or put your feet on the ground. Or if you are in an apartment and you can't get out, you can lie on the floor or lie on your bed or sofa and just meditate that you are lying in a field somewhere. Um, you know, you don't need to be physically touching earth to do earthing. You can do it with your, you know, fabulous brain and your heart. But there's also my favorite quick technique which is I tell my feet to relax and whatever energy is in me just goes through. This is also good when I'm feeling like blocked inside or like overloaded. I tell my feet to relax and I invite everything that's in me to flow through and I invite everything that's here to open. So I'm just getting like a full flush of energy flowing through me to earth. We did some of that yesterday in the meditation. But when you're done and you're like, okay, I don't need to have all this stuff coming in right now. I need to go like maybe drive to the store or get back to work. You want to remain grounded. So you're not all like, woo. but sorry, the cat is like staring at me, but he won't come out. So you want to be grounded. You don't want to be spacey and maybe you need your focus to be on 3d world stuff. So I'm going to run you through a quick grounding meditation and understand it's okay to connect up there and remain grounded here. In fact, that's kind of a major goal towards the end that you get to the point where you can be always really super grounded, but also connecting with all kinds of dimensions and divine beings so whatever you get is always not just benefiting you, but benefiting the planet. Um, so that is a long-term goal. But for now, grounding. Ready? Get yourself relaxed. It is okay for you to breathe however you want to breathe. Your eyes can be open or closed. If they're open, just invite them to relax. And allow your focus to just release extraneous thoughts. The easiest way for grounding is to release control. Release the need to micromanage your body. Invite your body to be in charge of itself. So you can invite your body to do things, but you don't need to actively be in charge of making sure it does anything. No one likes a micromanager. If you don't like it, then you know your body doesn't like it. So just give your body permission to relax and you'll be surprised what areas of tension or especially for us now, anxiety or um, little bunched up muscles or gripped or whatever we have in our bodies just because that's what our bodies do as we're going through the day. And um, so you give your body permission to relax. Give your feet permission to relax. 
you know our feet are like supporting us all day long and now we give them permission to relax any energy that's in them is invited to just flow through give the energy in your body permission to flow radiate and really like converse with your body look at your body be aware of your body and see like where are is tension holding where is it stopping where is it flowing where are there blocks and don't think of your body as a result of you think of your body as though it's a system that may need a little rearranging you know as though you are city council person and you notice there's a little congestion on this side of the town but on that side of the town traffic is flowing smooth you know like just treat it as something very technical that once you allow things to move or change they can take over on their own give your body permission to breathe and invite all the energy to just dump out of you through your feet and if there's too much allow to flow around you and out now that we've done a big release invite your energy to just flow through you into earth not just straight down but at a conical angle like a cone so it's supporting you in fact this energy cone can become so potent that you could even lift your feet up and it will hold you up in your imagination and allow this energy to just flow and hold you all the energy is flowing through you into earth where mother earth is so happy to absorb it and transmute it into the highest frequency of love and then send it out to the planet remember you are one member of this planet so this energy is also for you everything that you're sending out is magnified into the highest level of love and sent out so as you have your energy going into earth invite it to settle in this expanding pool of love earth love and just absorb what you want from it all the energy in your body flows through you and out divine energy is welcome to flow into you through you and out into earth and all of your energy becomes divine love which comes back to you and that's it If you wish to make this a longer meditation, you are invited to imagine that you are in nature and you can have animals, plants, you know, you can invite your imagination to take you along for the ride. So again, you don't manage anything. But inviting divine love to throw, flow through you into earth and then love to come back to you from earth for me that's the best grounding i do that a lot and i'm so happy to share this with you um yeah that's that's it <laughs> that's it
so I want to thank you guys and um, tomorrow I'm not sure when tomorrow depends on what's going on with my family um, tomorrow I'll do a video on releasing fear and anxiety from your body so if you don't catch me live tomorrow then you know it'll be on my Facebook page so just go and grab it when you want um, thank you all I love you take care and I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day bye